In this video, we're looking at the ICGC Dante, which is an Irish Coast Guard cutter. It's based on the Avala platform of the Uma fleet, but it comes armed, it comes the VTOL, and it has a brute force that you don't really want to mess with. So come along as we take a tour. So here we are on the rear deck of the cutter Dante. You can see that we have a blacked out VTOL here, which is a vertical lift um, vehicle aircraft. So it can go upwards like a helicopter as well as uh, cross like an airplane. We do have here a little uh, sea scooter for underwater diving. And in the very back, we have a fairly large uh, rib that has a um, front-mounted machine gun as well as a enclosed cabin. So that's right here. Now very similar to the Avala, you can use this to swing it in and out, but first you have to unlock the platform. So it's a little different, a little more optimized. The reason for that is so when it's locked in place, you don't have to worry about it uh, being dropping. So that's these guys here. Otherwise, you still have a winch. You have the same type of uh, ropes and cables. You have the uh, fuel and recharging stations here, firefighting equipment here. So one of the main differences is the exterior design of the Dante. In this case, it has these kind of uh, walls on the side. And then the uh, bridge has a full length deck with a little crane house in the middle and machine guns mounted on the side. So also on the exterior here, you can walk around this part, but that's it. There's no uh, hot tub like the Avala has. And then here there's a uh, cannon with a rocket launcher mounted above. Now these are doors to get into the ammo storage, so fast uh, re refilling the ammo of the cannon as well as you could use this hatch to get into the depths of the vessel. We'll get into that in a second. So, back here, just the big landing strip or landing helipad with the VTOL. It's weaponized, so unlike the normal version that I have in the Steam Shop, this one's actually has uh, machine guns and a rocket launcher. So that's here. And then you have an access hatch like the Avala here. But if we make our way to the front bulkhead here, you see that there's some diving equipment and then you could enter in here. And you could enter into deck C. So here we have just some seating, some firefighting equipment. Now you could make your way down here to the command center. So this is kind of the guts of the research portion of the vessel. You have these seats that light up when you're sitting in them. And you have sonar, you have all this type of gear. The trick is it has to be, uh, the vessel has to be on for it to properly work. So right now the vessel, actually the engines are on, so yeah, it is working. You can see here the sonar. Now this room does not fire any weapons. It's just like a, call it a operations center. Now on the other side is the captain's quarters. Captain's quarter has a big desk and a little kind of bunk area here. Now. The theme of this, this vessel, as well as the Taffin, you'll see that they're just Irish Coast Guard cutters. That service doesn't exist. Uh, it's named something else, so it's a fictional service. But what I did do is, and I'm not Irish, by the way, I just thought that uh, I'm a fan of the actor Pierce Brosnan, and I took two of his movies that he was from. So, in this case, the Dante, is from the movie Dante's Peak. Here you have another crew room. And the other Coast Guard cutter 
is called the Taffin. So here's some uh, notepad or uh, notes on a clipboard. So yeah, the other Coast Guard cutter that I have is called the uh, Taffin, which is one of Pierce Brosnan's uh, breakout roles. Here we are in the armory. So we got all sorts of ammo and vests and things here. Now here's the ammo storage with those doors that I showed you earlier. So this is where you could feed ammo to your buddies. And you could also enter onto the front deck or forward deck from here. Now if we make our way down, oh yeah, and we missed, uh, we do have a three bed infirmary here. Now if we make our way down, radiation gear. And in here, we have kind of the similar layout hallway. You see here, there's a uh, underwater operating operation room. And uh, with sonar and spotlights, it has the same diving airlock. Now the lore behind it is that this was a joint vessel with the UMA fleet. So here's the generator room, a very similar layout. Now this is different, here you have a brig. So a brig is a, a jail on board a vessel, or on board a ship. So you could actually lock someone up in here. So the way this works is when you in input the command or the, the password, it automatically opens. So you could lock someone up in there. These are windows looking onto the generator. This is the deck access that we saw earlier. And here's the engine room with the four or five, sorry, engines. We do have a fire suppression system back here. So this is the lowest level of the vessel. Make our way up to the set to the next level, deck B. Here's kind of the crew accommodations area. We do have a little uh, kitchen or mess, a, a dining area, a TV area. And then in here, uh, different from the Avala and the Uma class vessels of the similar nature, this is actually a go room. So it's a preparation room that has weapons and armor and it has a medical bed as well. So everything, the operations can be launched from this room right onto the front or forward deck. So that's a enclosed chamber here and it has um it's kind of closed off to the outside elements or the inside the outside elements as well as the inside of the ship now if we make our way to the very top we're now we're in the bridge and first thing you'll notice is unlike the avala class uma vessels the crane controller is part of the bridge uh building so that's back here and he, it, there's only the one crane so really you just operate the single crane from this location as you can see and then the machine guns fairly straightforward now that big front gun i know you guys are all wondering how that's fired so that's right here the weapon station so if we fire it up you can use this and you can launch rockets and you can uh, shoot with the uh, cannon. So that's here. Right next it's the navigator station. They have all the cameras of the vessel as well as the map and radar function. Now the main helm is here with all our controls. including uh, maps and radar and sonar and stuff. Very similar, if you're familiar with the Avala, you can jump in and drive this right away. We have maneuver mode, which I spent time developing, where you could kind of rotate it, rotate the vessel on the spot. That's always good for maneuvering. And then the other stations we have there's the ra radio operator here. There's the autopilot controller here. With 
the highly advanced autopilot where you can actually um, where you can actually uh, land the rib and the airplane on the deck and it trips these alarms, these uh, sensors and it has the uh, command function to recall it when you're in one of those vessels or the airplane so here we have it Next, we have the sonar station. So here, it's its own separate station, the sonar, uh, sonar mate. And then, just like the Avala, we got our anchor control here with an automatic anchor, and a. Uh, it's just you just press the button; and it deploys automatically. And the ballast tank controller is here. So that's pretty much everything in the vessel. Now, the vessel itself has a hybrid mode. So when the batteries are charged up, you can actually push out a top speed of around 32 knots. The batteries do drain fairly fast, and the generator is going to kick on to sort of alleviate that strain on the generators. And it's going to slow down the spending on it. Now, you can also force the throttle. What happens is when you have the hybrid mode on, the... Uh, throttle is slowly dropping as you can see so we're going down slowly it's going to be 91 soon so as the batteries get spent the throttle of the electric motors will turn down until it comes to a point where it breaks even where the battery drain is, e is just uh, equal to how much we're um, charging up with the generators and that's what it's going to stay at but of course until it gets to that point we gave it as much boost as possible so that's the exterior of the vessel. The last thing I'm going to show you is we're going to take off on that uh, the VTOL and call the ship to come to our location. So we'll make our way to the helipad and hop into the VTOL. Now it starts with reduced fuel, the reason for that is uh, to save weight, if you want a further range, you can uh, always fill it up. So we're going to disconnect from the vessel once I can find it, here we go. And right now because it's paired to these, uh, paired, the wheels aren't out, the landing gear, so if we press, um, yes. So we'll release this and retract that. So now we're sitting up on our wheels. And then we can go up. We can pull in our landing gear. Now if we turn on the airplane mode, this, we can get some pretty good speed. So here we are going 140 knots, 150 almost. Now we'll stop ourselves, rotate back, so if we look now we're aiming up, so we've come to a kind of a stop, and we'll rotate around to face the, the vessel, over there in the distance, now if we press this button here, summon to current location, so that should actually make it come to us, and you can see that it's on the move. So now that we summoned the vessel, here it is. It came to our location, as expected, and it comes to a stop. Which I love. I love playing in single player and having the capability to summon the vessel to come to your location. As, as you can see, we actually made it pretty far in the VTOL. So, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something about these vessels. Stay tuned for more, and happy stormworksing everyone!